Okay, so I didn't like my first video a little, like, I got interrupted. That's what happened. So, I couldn't finish showing you guys. So, I didn't put a rod right here. I decided to put one of the smaller, um, one of the smaller flexi rods instead of the gray prem rod. So, I'm just going to show you guys again. And I'm doing regular rolling, not my, um, not the rolling technique that I used before. So, I'm going to re the section. And if you guys want to see the whole process, you're going to have to watch the first video. I'm doing medium sections, so oh, this one's a little too big. And since this part well, is short, but not that short, so yeah, it'll be all right with um maybe. Yeah, it'll be all right with a yellow rod. And so I'm going to take a little bit more of the product, which is the Be Mine um, Be Hold Curly Butter in Isle Mango Scent. I'm going to detangle. Take a finer comb and make sure that the ends are smooth. Yep. Hold on, hold on. See, I keep getting interrupted, but I'm gonna do this. Roll it around, roll it regular once to make sure that the ends are secure. And then you can take it and turn it so that the hair can get rolled on spirally now. And lock the rod into place. I'm just gonna leave this one hanging like that. And I don't know, people don't have a problem with locking the rods, but I do. If I watch like other YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, you guys locking these rods like a pro, but I'm over here struggling and my rod looking oblonged and all that. So maybe it's just me. Add a little bit more of the product. Detangle. Now I'm going to be using the red rod. Yes. S T U F F. Oh, okay. My little nephew learning how to spell. Or rather, he learned. I think he already knows how to spell. He just forgets. But I'm here to help him. So, yeah. So, now take the rod. Smooth it around. Roll it once. Turn it. to make it spiral. And lock it into place.
my hair sucks up water so fast now i don't know if it well i think it's always done that but i think more now because it um because it's bleached and then i just recolored it too so a little bit more of the product detangle now I want to use the blue rod W H W H W H E R E That's word like you were doing something Move it, roll it around once, turn it, make it spiral. That's what I like about flexi rods because with the perm rods, I'm unable to really do it spiral unless I do that um, special technique that I have a video for on here. So yeah, so I'm glad that I'm able to do that with these rods and I think it's because they're longer. And with this hairstyle, it's very important that you give it time to dry. So like doing this hairstyle at like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, I would not suggest. This is a hairstyle to be done in the morning so that it has enough time to dry. And so that, um, you know, how some people think that, you know, a style will dry when you put on your satin cap or your, um, or your satin scarf and just go to bed and it'll dry automatically. No, this takes time to dry because your hair is rolled and then there's something interfering with the drying process as well. Yes. Yay, I was able to do this one even. Okay, so a little bit more product. And oh wow, I think I'm gonna use a red rod now. The blue rods are mainly supposed to be for the top part, well this part, but I think I'm gonna have just an array of curls because I don't want that um with if I do all the top with the blue and then the blue doesn't give me a very you know strong curl, I don't want the top just to look uncurled. So I'm going to do like an array of different rollers up here. So I have the yellow, then the red, then the blue, the red again, and then I think I'm going to put another yellow. Yeah, I'm going to put another yellow. I'm going to put another red. And you can always sit underneath this uh, dryer with this style to help dry it faster. I'm gonna use another yellow. <laughs> I 
Okay, you need to roll your hair, like depending on what way you actually want your hair to fall. I want my hair to fall all down in the front. We're going towards all the curls coming down towards the front, so I have all the curls or roll that's going down. But you know, you can part it, make them come to the side or whatever. And if you want some flip this way and some flip that way, then you'll have to roll clockwise and counterclockwise. And I think I'm just rolling. I'm rolling clockwise. I don't really know, but I'm rolling all in one direction. So that's all I know. So yeah, I'm not going to do the whole head on here because it's going to take too long. And my laptop does not pause videos. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to redo the video a little bit. And um, you can still watch the first video. I just like this one better because I'm able to show it better. So yeah. And when you're rolling, make sure you don't put too much tension at the root because then you will pop your hair. And um, sleeping with these are no walk in the park, so be prepared. Be prepared. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, a full product review of the Be Mine products will be up soon once I've, um, you know, once I've used them more than once. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. You know, follow us on Instagram at Natural Hair Guru, and you can follow Be Mine Products at Be Mine Products. That's it, yeah. Um, so yeah, and you can subscribe to our channel, please. Follow us. Um, I already said follow us on Instagram. We have a group on Facebook that you can join to. It's the Natural Hair Gurus, and you can like the page and join the group so that you're able to share your photos and things like that more efficiently. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I'll see you guys in our next video. So, bye.